everybody. Hi, we're the WWE Gays. I'm, I'm Nick. And I'm Sean Luke. And we've got another recipe for we're you. We're actually making dinner. We thought we should film this one because yeah. this is one that, we've, that people have probably never thought of. And, and this is a quick way of doing it. Yeah. Like, there's so many other recipes of doing it, but we both love Indian food. We like butter chicken. So it's a butter chicken inspired meal. Yeah. But it's not your regular butter chicken. It's yeah. a quick way of making butter chicken how we do it. Yeah. So I'm just going to go ahead and start cooking because it's just easy. I'm so just going to be comment if it's that comment You already know we always make chicken in on the barbecue ahead of time. So our chicken is already pre-cooked, yeah. okay? FYI, it's barbecue chicken that we cut up into cubes. I'm going to be using this a little bit later, but I'm going to show you that right now. It's already cut up. You can start off by cutting raw chicken and frying that up in your frying pan to start. But we like quick, easy meals. You know, we're on the go. We're eating late. This is a, so, something so we, we can come home so we actually after work. Have, we actually have the chicken pre-made. Chicken's pre-made. Pre quinoa's pre-made. So the only thing we need to make is our butter chicken. So we like, again, our variation of this. We like to add spinach. It's an extra vegetable in our meal. It makes it somewhat a bit healthier. So and, uh, and harder your meal. You have more to eat. Mm -hmm. So I turn on the frying pan. I just turn it on. Using our handy-dandy olive oil spray, we use different types of it. Don't need a lot of this. Just one quick spray. It adds a little flavor. It's olive oil, good fat for you. Then again, we just play it by ear. I like to add spinach. I like the spinach in this. It adds a nice little texture to it. And not only that, when it wilts, it wilts down quite a bit. So yeah. a lot of spinach in the pan when it's like fresh does not make a lot of spinach once it's wilted. Yeah. And we love spinach in almost everything. We have it every day in our, in our I have it every day in my wraps. So yep. it's something that we always have on hand. We always add it to an extra meals. Sometimes we have macaroni, uh, macaroni and cheese and we throw it in. And so we'll throw it in a lot of various meals. So I'm going to have Nick stir this spinach down and wilt down this spinach. And I'm going to start talking about the other ingredients that we use in our version of um, butter chicken. So again, our go-to dairy product. We don't really use milk anymore. Very, very, very rarely do we have any milk in this house. But our handy dandy zero greek yogurt zero percent fat free greek yogurt it's what we use it's become our dairy product um i use about a cup of this which is free zero points zero points shouldn't say free zero points on ww so approximately a cup is good and it is thick but once you add it to everything else it actually thins out a little bit and we like our butter chicken a little bit on the saucy side so if right now the stove's on high, I'll be turning it down. We're going to turn it down in just a bit. We will also be adding a cup of the cashew milk. You can, one this point. is one point for the cup. It's unsweetened. It's original. You can do almond milk if you'd like, if you prefer almond milk. We've tried the almond milk. We prefer the cashew milk. It just doesn't have the same flavor as the almond milk. Not that the almond milk's terrible, but uh, it's what so our preference is. What John was saying about how, all that spinach. All that spinach just, just that little to that. Amount. So then it wasn't... Not too, too much. Yeah. So now, he's gonna so now we're going to lower this even more because we don't want it to take so any chances. I'm throwing in my yogurt. You want to get the whisk or whisk out? It might help. So I'm throwing in my yogurt and that's already starting to, um, starting to like liquefy. liquefy. That's the word I was looking for. And then I'm also going to add my cup of cashew milk. Okay. To this, you're like, okay, well, you said butter chicken, butter chicken. We now buy this San, and I don't know if it's Sean, S-H-A-N. We get it at 14 years or at Walmart. And by add, what this is, is just butter chicken spices. Per serving, a serving is two tablespoons, and it's one point per serving. Per, per serving. One point per serving. So we're going to add um, three tablespoons, six. six tablespoons. What am I talking about? Six to make it a total of four points for our meal right now. And this is spicy, I will not lie. So if you don't like, if you already like butter chicken, this works for you, so yes. this is another a good replacement. But if you don't like spicy, then don't. Then put, don't put the six yeah. tablespoons in because it might be a little too much for we you. We like it spicy, so. We, we like it spicy, well, Nick likes it even spicier than me, but I'm pretty spicy myself now. You just put. put. And you just mix, stir that in. Try not to let your back. Sorry, I don't mean to show you my back. So. And this is number five. Much almost the entire thing. It's almost the entire pack, but not really. I think you could probably get like uh, six servings, out, two servings out of it, two meals out of it. So you put that in there. 
And you know us, we are spice people. So we love this butter chicken flavor, of course, but we always, I just have to spice it up myself. So I'm gonna use my garlic plus because we love garlic. We might even use some fresh garlic some nights depending on how busy we are or what what's going on as far as you know what we're doing at home or work or so on. I'm also using the vegetable one as well, just a little bit. I'm not putting a lot because there's already quite a bit of spices and I think those are the only two I'm gonna add in there for tonight because the butter chicken is already pretty spicy as it is. So then you'll grab So your from there, your cooked chicken is already ready to go. You throw it in with your, yeah. with your sauce. You can put your sauce up a little bit because you want your sauce to actually um, come to a boil and you want all the, the, the um, ingredients to actually like meld together. And you can cook your chicken in this for a bit. Your chicken's already cooked, so all it's doing right now is trying to absorb all the juices. And you have a four-point butter chicken. That's all it is, four so points butter what, chicken. What we normally do is we take this and we put it with, we usually have green beans, which are already cooked right there, yeah. green and yellow beans. And then we and have, have quinoa. So we will have probably a cup of that, so that's six points, plus two points for this meal. So the entire meal is eight points. Eight points is, for butter chicken. Butter chicken. Yeah. So I hopefully you guys try this out. And if hopefully you like you it. Like it. Uh, let us know, comment yeah. below. You can also subscribe to our channel so you see our future videos. Just another quick tip too. You don't only have to do butter chicken. They There's have so all, many, so they many have different, masala, yeah. different, different, different types. So even, no yeah. chicken, use tofu if yeah. you want. Like there's so many options. Like, use switch, beef, if exactly. you want, if you, or switch turkey, it up. If you, yeah. And uh, so yeah, if you can, and if you want to uh, find us on any social media, uh, Facebook, Instagram, uh, WW Connect or Twitter, just look for hashtag WW Gays and you'll be able to find us everywhere. Thanks for watching and see you guys next oh time. Oh my goodness, it's so good. Oh my god, oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. amazing, 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 really amazing. Good. It's wow. so spicy. Very yeah. spicy. So, see you guys later. Bye. Bye.